Welcome back to JSA TV Live, the newsroom for tech, telecom, and data center professionals. I'm Buffy Harakidis coming to you live from PTC 23 in sunny Honolulu, Hawaii. And joining me today is Luke Kipfer, Vice President of Data Center Construction and Development for Powerhouse Data Centers. Luke, welcome back to JSA TV. Thanks, Bobby. Glad to be here. Yeah. So, what do you think of the conference so far, Luke? It's it, it's a whirlwind. It's uh, you know got in Saturday and it's just been nonstop ever since. But um, you know, this is definitely one of one of the premier events. So glad to be glad to be here with you guys. Um, you know, helping us out at PTC. Yeah, we're we're glad to have you back. So, for viewers that don't know, why don't you tell us a little bit more about Powerhouse Data Centers? Yeah. So, you know, we're we're very excited about Powerhouse Data Centers. Um, Powerhouse is the technical real estate side of American Real Estate Partners, ARAP. ARAP's been a developer in the um, East Coast, greater DC area for uh, about 20 years. So $5 billion in acquisitions, uh, deep roots in the real estate and development industry. Uh, really went all in last year, uh, officially launched the Powerhouse brand um, to focus on data centers and data center developments, um, starting in Northern Virginia, but you know expanding out of that area very quickly. Yeah, and we got to talk not too long ago at uh, Data Cloud USA, so it's such a pleasure to have you back. Uh, why don't you tell us a little bit more about the joint venture between Powerhouse and Harrison Street? Absolutely. So uh, Powerhouse Data Centers is a joint venture with Harrison Street, a $1 billion fund to spend for data center development and construction. Uh, you know, data or Harrison Street is a uh, primarily involved in investing in alternate assets. Um, they're a very sophisticated um, capital partner when it comes to data centers. They really understand the market and really allow us to be able to, uh, you know, deploy capital in the most efficient way, uh, most efficient methods possible. Okay. And I heard a little bit about uh, six data centers that you have coming to Data Center Alley. Uh, why don't you tell us a little bit more about that? Yeah, absolutely. You know, we're, we're really excited about, we've got uh, what we call ABX1. Um, Bowmead Data Center, that's uh, just going vertical in the next couple of weeks. So we're delivering that October of this year. Uh, we've got our, our COLA Data Center, that's master plan for uh, two buildings over 600,000 square feet, uh, 120 megawatts of development there. And then we also have what is the old um, AOL World Headquarters in Ashburn, uh, that's master planned. Um, you know, we're starting demo this year, uh, but that'll be a, a three building, 265 megawatt campus right in the heart of Data Center Alley in Ashburn. Yeah. In, in Northern Virginia, of course. Uh, that's it, yeah. Yeah, that's it. The, the heart of data centers, Data Center Alley. Uh, with all those megawatts, uh, I believe you'd be attracting the hyperscale community. Uh, why don't you tell us why uh, Powerhouse is the best for hyperscalers? Yeah, so, you know, the one thing that we offer is we really do the heavy lifting um, in the early ends of the project. So. You know, we, we do all the site selection, we get the key real estate access, um, we do the zoning, we do the entitlements, we get the power to the site, which is obviously a, a big topic as of lately. Um, we do all the site developments, we do the buildings, and so we can allow these hyperscalers to deploy their compute capacity very quickly uh, with, with us able to take a lot of the, the management, the risk, and the timeline associated with these early project developments. Right. Well, you're here all the way uh, across the world almost, right? From uh, the Northern Corridor where uh, Powerhouse is headquartered and where the data centers are uh, being developed. So why should the PTC community and folks out here all the way in the Pacific region uh, have Powerhouse on their radar? So it's, it's really two aspects. Um, you know, the first is that while we, we've started, we really focused on Northern Virginia, mm -hmm. uh, we're, we're very rapidly moving out of that area. So uh, we wanted to start the powerhouse brand with some key strategic assets um, and those being in Ashburn, uh, you know, to really establish that we could, uh, we can operate in probably the world's toughest data center market. Um, so as we move out of that, obviously it's important to understand that powerhouse is just a, a very small aspect of a huge ecosystem. So um, as um, hyperscale or as operators are deploying their compute capacity, it really goes into a global plan for how they're um, deploying that infrastructure. And it's important for us to understand and talk to others in the industry, you know, how that's being done. Absolutely. Well, it was such a pleasure to have you here uh, live from PTC 23 in sunny Honolulu, Hawaii. 
Uh, is there anything else that you'd like to add today, Luke? No, we just really appreciate your time. You know, glad for our partnership with JSA and uh, looking forward to the rest of the conference. Yeah, same. Uh, where can viewers go if they want to learn more? Uh, powerhousedata.com, uh, LinkedIn, Twitter, and our website are all uh, great ways to, to get in touch with us and learn more about the platform. Well, thanks again, Luke, and thank you viewers for tuning in to another fabulous episode of JSA TV Live here from PTC 23 in Hawaii. Happy networking.